Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Alexis Nicole with The Nurse Nook. If you're new, just a little bit of background information about me and my channel. I'm currently a third semester nursing student and my channel is all about my journey to becoming a nurse and my journey through nursing school. So this video is gonna be about what's in my lab bag. My lab bag is a bag I bring with me to school on lab days when we have special um, checkoffs or when we're practicing a skill. We have generally everything we need to practice the skills that we get checked off on in this bag. So if you're interested in seeing what is in there, continue watching. So this is what the bag looks like. Everyone in the program gets the same exact bag. So they tell us to do something to it to distinguish it from everyone else's. So I just have this little American flag on it. And this bag costs 220 something dollars. So you definitely do not want to get it mixed up with anyone else's and lose stuff and then not be prepared and don't have what you need. So that's why we make sure that we do that. So this is going to be in no particular order. I'm just going to grab whatever I get first and tell you guys what it is. So on the top, which is probably on the top because I just got checked off on this, is a central line dressing kit. Did I say that correctly? Central line dressing kit. This is the kit you use to change a central line dressing. And it's in this blue drape because everything that's in it that's in like a drape, a white or a blue drape, means that it's sterile or it's supposed to simulate being sterile. So you open it up like so. And this would be your sterile field. And in here is just a mask that you would put on yourself. And then another one goes on the patient. And this goes over the actual central line to protect it from any nasty things. Um, this is our alcohol swabs. They're supposed to be chlorhexidine in here, but I don't know where mine went. Some cotton, a syringe, still have some stuff in there. Um, Q-tip, and alcohol swabs. I said that already. So that is everything that is in the central line dressing kit. So next in here, I have a trait care tray, which is in here because we get checked off on cleaning um, trachs. If you don't know what a trach is, it's like a opening in a patient's neck and they use that opening to breathe and they, they have like a little cannula in there and you need to take the cannula out every so often and clean it. So in here we just have like gloves, this to manipulate whatever you need to manipulate. This is mind of like a little bottle cleaner. Like you actually take the cannula out and you like clean it all inside and get all in there and this is kind of the same thing pipe cleaners and these ties are actually tied around the trach to keep it in place so it'll it's like I'll show you it kind of doubles like this this is what it looks like on the patient and it just like ties onto their trach and it like keeps it there because you don't want that thing moving and getting dislodged and that's just a whole nother problem that you do not even want and these are like little dressings that go around it to keep the area clean and so it doesn't irritate the patient. And a little um, sterile drape. You know, the basics. So next in here, I just have like a bunch of random stuff. A lot of gauze pads. A lot of this stuff is just kind of thrown in here. Y'all don't judge me. This is how you live as a nursing student. You just gotta survive however you can. Um, I have, this was for my wound care checkoff. I don't have a lot of the stuff in here because I used it for the checkoff. Therefore, it is no longer usable. But this is just like normal saline in here. And then um, some sponges. And that's that. Next, I have iv goodies this is what iv tubing looks like not this brown usually but you get the gist of it i think it's just been in my bag for a little too long but anyways um let me show you how it works so let's take our sodium chloride right? <laughs> So this bag is just full of like IV stuff. 
Um, we get checked off on actually starting IVs next semester, so that's fun. So this is just like all IV stuff. This is what a piggyback looks like. This is used when we're piggybacking like an antibiotic. You want to lower the, um, oh my goodness, what is that word called? Your main line. Whatever is running on your main line, you want to lower that so that gravity can work its magic and that your antibiotic is flowing higher than your main line so that it doesn't flow together and your antibiotic can get in. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But that's how that works. And there's just like red caps to put over like saline locks when you're not using them. Um, I think this is like the starter kit. Yep, IV start kit. So just pop like a tourniquet in here, a uh, tegaderm, which is the clear thing, the clear thing. It's like a sticky um, bandage kind of, it's transparent and we put it over IV sites to keep it in place. Um, another IV start kit. I'm just making a hot mess. Some tape, obviously, to keep the IV in place. Um, simulation antibiotics. Some more IV tubing. And on the bottom, we actually have needles to do the sticks. I'm not sure. This is a 22 gauge. 22 gauge needle. Next up, we have all of my injection supplies. So like a bunch of needles, like all different sizes. And then we have simulation medication in here. So like this simulates, I don't know, it's called a Practivial, but this is like what normal medication would come in that needs to be injected or IV pushed. You would drop air in your syringe, inject the air into there, invert it, pull out your medication, and then inject your patient. And then there's just a bunch of alcohol swabs in here, um, and insulin syringes. This is what an insulin syringe looks like. I hope you guys can see this stuff. And then an ampule. I had no idea what the heck an ampule was before I came to nursing school. But this is what an ampule looks like. And medication actually really does come in things like this. And how you get medication out of this is you literally crack the neck. This is all glass, mind you. You crack the neck and you insert a, what's called a filter straw, which in case any glass is in the medication, you obviously don't want to inject your patient with glass. So you draw it up in a filter straw and then you attach your syringe to it. But basically how you open this is you like would wrap an alcohol pad around it and crack it away from you. And it just like cracks right here at this little edge. There's like a little blue ring and that's where it cracks open. So that's all my injection supplies. Oh, this is pretty cool. I never even use this. I'm not sure what it is. But this medication is like powder. It's the weirdest thing. I'm guessing you inject water into this and it does something. I really don't know. Tell me if you know what that is. So next we have my catheter kit. This is a fun one. Again, sterile. This is a sterile drape that you would just put on your whatever surface you're working on. Open it up and put all your sterile supplies on there. And this goes over the patient's genitals, like right in here in this little hole. So you would place this hole right over the patient's genitals and then you would, this is like your workspace. So you work in this little space. You would obviously clean whatever you needed to do, like hydrogen peroxide, some lubricant for the actual Foley sterile gloves, and then um, this is to clean the outside of man or woman, whatever you're working on. So you just take a cotton and then clean, and then you have it. There's a syringe in here, say normal saline, and this is for, well, let me show you this first. 
So this is what the actual Foley bag looks like. And this is the tube that it drains into. This tube here. And then this is the part that actually goes into the patient's urethra. And right in here, you can't see this, but there's two little holes right here. And that's where the urine drains into the tube, goes all through here, goes all the way down there. And right under those two little holes is a little balloon. And when you attach this syringe, I'll show you. What actually holds the Foley inside the person's bladder because without this balloon it would just slip right out it'd be like an intermittent cath in and out you just let it go and it comes out by itself and then you just discontinue it and just pull it right on out and then in here is just a little urine specimen cup and that is everything that is in this kit i don't know if i mentioned but i'm in my clinical top right now because i just came from clinicals and i just felt inspired to make a video so there you have it. And you just force everything back inside when it doesn't fit. Because that's how we do it. Next, we have our PPE, which is personal protective equipment. This is what we wear in contact rooms to not introduce ourselves to any viruses or bacteria that we don't need to be in contact with. So this is what it looks like. You just look like a big yellow Teletubby. And that's pretty much it. I honestly hate wearing these gowns. Like they're such a hassle sometimes, but you know, you really gotta protect yourself because some of these patients have really, you know, scary things that they're carrying and you as a healthcare provider, do not want to introduce yourself to that. So please wear your PPE. Um, Tegaderms. This is what I showed you earlier with starting the IVs, but this is like a bigger one. So this would probably go over like a central line or I don't know, like a wound, whatever. An irrigation tray. I'm not sure what is in here actually because we haven't opened it yet and I don't want to open it just in case I need this or something. But I think this is just for um, when we do tray care. You would use this. Uh, we have a bunch of tongue pressers. This is for like just a, an exam of the mouth or whatever you need it for to measure a wound. Uh, sterile fields. What other goodies I have in here? This is kind of cute. This is for when we do trait care. You can fill this little box up with um, normal saline and use it to clean like a little I don't know I just think it's cute and then we just have another bag of sodium chloride in here and that is it yep so please 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 let me know down below what videos you guys want to see next give me any suggestions what you guys are interested in any questions you have and I will try to make a video for you guys I want to do videos that you guys are interested in seeing. So please let me know down below what you guys want to see. Thank you so much for watching, guys.